you will be leaking and you will be picked off by the unique signature they've given your leak document. So we've had a lot of people at big tech firms and uh, in big political parties and other large institutions leaking more data than ever before. And I think that it would be a very good idea to go over one trick that companies could potentially be using to identify the sources of leaks and that anyone who is interested in being a leaker should probably be watching out for. It's old school. I mean, really, really old school. Like, most of the people watching this video are going to have uh, probably not even been born when this came about. See, intelligence agencies um, have a, an interest in getting information out of countries, and countries have an interest in not letting their information get out. So, how do you find out if you send a document to 10 different people, which one of those 10 people gave up the document? You make something about the document unique where even if it's a copy, you'll still be able to see the identifying information in that document. So what you do is for each of the 10 people, for example, you'll have each one of them be given a different copy of the document where the documents look the same with the exception of one thing maybe two, that is a little bit different, but in a way that makes it seem like a mistake, or on first glance, nobody's going to notice. So one of the ways you can do this is to introduce a letter swap or typo in a random word in a document. Even if the document's copied, the typo will be copied too. And for each one of the people that you are interested in, you'll do a different typo and you'll be able to immediately figure out where the leak came from. Because, you know, if John has a typo where I and E are accidentally swapped in a uh, receiver, then when you see the leaked document contains the same misspelling of receiver, you know John did it! This is a thing that big tech companies and others that really don't want their data to get out could be doing. Now, part of the problem is that when there is a information leak and they want to be able to trace it, one of the ways you could do it is to put some sort of a secret signature in a file, but that won't survive printing hard copies, photocopying them, etc., and so on and so forth. What will survive that is any modification to text or graphics. Uh, that's another thing. You can change graphics slightly for every single copy of the document. Now, the reason I'm making this video is not to encourage people to do what I've just said. It is to inform people who might be trying to leak stuff that needs to be whistleblown. People that are trying to leak stuff, but that might get caught by this technique. If you can find another person or get access to another person's copy of one of these things, the simple countermeasure to this anti-leaking technique is to compare two copies. If you are one of the people that is of interest um, and you compare your copy to another person's copy that is different from you or on a different team from you or whatever, there will be a difference if they're trying to figure out whether or not you're leaking. So not only do you find out that you will be leaking and you will be picked off by the unique signature they've given your leak document. But on top of that, you'll find out exactly where the leaks are and that you were being targeted for this anyway. Now it's possible that they just targeted everybody. So I guess, you know, saying targeted is kind of a, a loose description uh, that doesn't necessarily apply. But you know, one way or the other, if this happens to you, you know at least that someone 
is leaking or is being suspected of potentially leaking and you'll know that you need to do something differently. Now what I would generally recommend if you're in a situation where you need to leak the document but you can see that something has been tampered with to tip off the people who produce the document that don't want it to get out is you can fix the document. Um, if you can compare the two documents and, or more, if you can compare two or three or four, you can find out what's being changed in each document. The trick would be to remove all leak signatures from the document. So if there's a typo in receiver in your document, but there's a typo in bucket in some other guy's document that's supposed to be identical, you know that you're being messed with. You can correct the spelling of receiver in your document pretty safely with everything else being the same, and they won't be able to tell that you were the one who leaked it. But, of course, the safest thing to do is not to leak it in the first place. Um, you just need to watch out for that if you're going to leak sensitive information. And that's how you make it happen. So that's been my little spy tip for the day. Have fun um, getting stuff out there that nobody wants you to get out there. And the information wants to be free, blah, blah, blah. Insert the hacker's manifesto. Um, you know, the mentor. Look it up. Have a good one.